Hello, and welcome to a quick guide on dealing with Ymir, the traditional second boss of BPM bullets per minute. Ymir is the second boss in the game and was one of the trickier bosses for me personally. With some practice, this guide will help you to be more consistent in taking him down without taking damage yourself. One quick note before going through all of his moves, the arena Ymir's fight takes place in will always either have pillars or large wall sections that you can use to block projectiles. They are required to use for one of his attacks. Ymir has four different attacks. Three energy blasts. Ymir will raise his left arm up, the one holding the scepter, and shoot three projectiles at you, once per beat. These projectiles are not particularly fast, but you do want to be strafing or dodging around him to avoid getting hit by them. You can also use a wall or pillar to block the projectile instead. Single Energy Blast Ymir lifts up his right hand slightly and very quickly charges up a fast energy projectile that will home in on you. Just like the other projectiles he shoots, you need to be moving around him to avoid him. You can also use a wall or a pillar to block the projectile instead. Laser Beam Ymir will raise his left arm up, the one with the scepter, and charge up a laser beam that tracks your movement. The laser does more and more damage the longer you're exposed to it. Face tanking the whole thing will likely end your run. There are two ways to avoid taking damage. The regular way is to use the charge up time to hide behind a pillar or wall to avoid getting hit by his attack. You can time when he will start the actual laser by listening to the little ticking noise that is made to warn you. It's also worth noting that the laser lasts for a long time, so stay hidden behind the pillars if you don't want this to happen. The second way is to stay in close range to him when he charges up his laser. If you dodge right next to him at the time of his laser's release, you should be safe. This method is more advanced and has more risk involved with it, but I think it will result in faster times when mastered. Dragon's Ghosts Similar to the Draugr boss fight, Ymir will spawn 5 Dragon's Ghosts around him as he kneels down. It's possible that some don't spawn if Ymir is kneeling right up against a wall or a pillar. These ghosts always appear counterclockwise around him once per beat. It's a good idea to move around him counterclockwise to shoot his ghosts as they appear. If not, they will keep chasing you until you shoot them to blow them up. It can be an especially lethal combination when you're surrounded by them while Ymir does his laser attack and you have to frantically get behind cover. Here are some general tips to fighting him. Unless you have very big damage at this point in your run, try to focus the dragon's ghosts over shooting Ymir. Getting swarmed by the ghosts will make this fight way more difficult than it needs to be. Whenever you hear the ticking sound of him charging up his laser, run to cover. The laser is no joke and will kill you if you don't. Be careful when running around cover, since it can be hard to see what Ymir is doing if he was stuck behind a wall or pillar, uh, you might expose yourself to a surprise energy blast or two. Instead of running out into the open, I recommend peeking a little bit to see what he is doing and then assessing whether it's safe or not to move out. If you don't have a long range weapon yet, staying at medium range is probably a good idea as you'll generally have enough time to move out of the way of his attacks. Boss modifiers that make the fight more difficult. Cloned. Clone causes there to be two bosses instead of one. With Emir, this can end up in a terrifying scenario where both clones use their laser beam on you from different angles at the same time, and you have nowhere to hide. Your best bet is to focus one of the copies down as soon as you can and hope that you do so before they get to use their lasers. Also, double the dragon's ghosts makes for a very cluttered fight. Electric Electric causes lightning strikes to hit the ground in a pretty large AoE. A white area will be marked on the ground before lightning strikes, allowing you to avoid getting hit. Where this gets tricky is when lightning strikes while you're hiding behind cover from his beam attack. Definitely keep an eye on the ground when this happens. Crazed Crazed will cause Ymir to only do his laser and dragon's ghost attacks. Focus on the ghosts as best as you can as he will be making a lot of them. In some runs, you won't have to actually fight Ymir. You'll encounter Asgard Crypts when you're exploring Asgard 1, that's the first level. That is an optional side level that replaces Asgard 2 if you decide to go there. 
A different boss guards the exit and his fight will be the next one we cover in this guide series. That said, the crypts are generally more difficult than Asgard 2, but offer more consistent rewards for your trouble. It's totally up to you. If you liked what you just watched, please give the video a like, if not, give it a dislike. Let me know if you have any tips for beating Emir or which moves of his give you the most trouble. I will read and respond to every comment left down below. Have a great one!